Hi everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial where I'll be taking you through how I paint the magical effects you might have seen on my Stormcast Eternal Shields or perhaps some of my Chaos uh, from my Age of Sigma army from a little while ago. So a little while ago I did actually leave a tutorial uh, by Darren Latham uh, that touched on water and rust effects. Uh, unfortunately he's since deleted his channel so I thought I'd take the opportunity to upload how to paint uh, those sort of water effects although for the purposes of my shields I'll be doing more of a magical style effect so uh, instead of uh, from memory Darren Latham's video he did much smaller amounts of this sort of watery effect but I wanted to do it in a magical sort of way so we'll be starting off with Sotek green so just apply it sort of randomly um, but allow it to sort of pull together a little bit and just begin highlighting that with Temple Guard Blue. And as you can see, just leaving some of the Sotek Green. And just touching over the Sotek Green with my Temple Guard Blue. And being quite generous with these two first highlights. And now with the 50-50 mix roughly of Temple Guard Blue and just any white acrylic, I'm going to be highlighting once more. And at this point, really just trying to apply small sort of dot highlights, um, similar to stipling, I would say. And now as a final highlight, I'm just gonna be doing some white highlights. Um, I will be using dead white by Vallejo for this, but you can go ahead and use any acrylic. And as you can see, this final highlight is going to really bring out the magical effects and add a lot of character to this shield. So a pretty simple effect, but really, really useful. And as you can see here, I've used it on the weapon as well. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.